Hey guys, it's Lopez and today I'm making a video on how to spot a fake Creed Aventus. So recently I purchased a fragrance from walmart.com. I got it for about $200 because it was on sale and I thought it was a great price. I knew it was risky. And I went ahead and I took the gamble. So good thing that Walmart is going to fully refund my money. But I'm going to show you guys the things that I've noticed when I unboxed this. And all the little details to look out for when you purchase a Creed Aventus. So you're able to tell the difference between the fake one and the authentic version. So first off, I'm going to show you guys the box. This is what the box looks like. So you're able to see it's almost as if it was the original or the authentic version. A lot of people would look at this and say, oh, this is it. I got the Creed Aventus, the king of all fragrances. So in comparison with the authentic version, if you're able to see any differences, I'm going to slightly tilt this and you might see how smudgy the background is on the horse and on the authentic version look how clean that is so i'm going to go ahead and unbox both of these to show you guys more details so this was another dead giveaway if you see the lettering it's smudgy and the creep card it's blurry so these are the fake ones the ones that came in the fake fragrance. I'm gonna show you guys how it should look. So here I have the authentic version. If you guys are able to see the differences, big differences. The smudginess of these letters and how clean these letters are. Now on the cards, this right here, it's all blurry. This is all nice and beautiful. And the texture, this feels like an actual card. This almost feels like paper. So I'm going to show you guys more details. So here I have both fragrances. Let's see if you're able to spot the original one with the fake one. If you chose this one, this is the fake one. This is the authentic one. So the differences are the lettering. The lettering is very smudgy. It's not perfect. For a almost $500 fragrance, it has to be perfect. And the pattern on the label, it's just off. Let me show you guys in comparison. The letters on this is perfect. Now the pattern on the label, you guys see the differences? Big differences. So I'm gonna turn these fragrances around, fake. Authentic, look, crooked, that's another dead giveaway. Now, if you look closely, look at the bottle caps. This one's perfect, it's nice and flush. Look at the bottle cap on that, very messy. It's not even flush, it's crooked. So here I have both fragrances without the caps. If you're able to see the authentic one the interior part of the atomizer is black. The fake one, the interior part is like a lighter color. And if you remove the cap on the fake fragrance, it's very messy, it's metal. Yeah, that's another dead giveaway. The authentic one is different. The materials are different. Now, one thing that I will give it credit for is that it sprays great. The fake one sprays almost as good as the original one, the authentic version. So if this was real Creed Aventus, I wouldn't be doing this. No way. So here's another close-up of the bottle caps. See if you can spot the differences. It's 
So I have the fake one here, authentic one here. It's nice and flush. It's even heavier. This right here, it's plastic. Not good at all. On the authentic version, the cap snaps into place. You hear that? Snaps into place. The unauthentic one doesn't even snap into place. So what does this fragrance smell like? It smells like alcohol and a watered down pineapple dry down. It does not smell anything like Creed Aventus. If you own the real deal, you will know that this is a fake. Now, Club de Nuit Intense Man smells 10 times better than this. Mont Blanc Explorer smells better than this. Any clone that you can think of smells better than this. This is cheap stuff. So you guys need to beware of where you purchase your fragrances. So walmart.com is where I purchased mine. It is a third party seller, but then again, I blame Walmart for not legit checking their fragrances. I literally spent 200 plus for this. To be exact, that was like 205. And I will be including all the information so you guys can avoid purchasing this from Walmart. Make sure you guys buy this at a reputable store like Nordstrom's or, or Neiman Marcus or an online site that actually sells authentic ones because avoid the headache and don't make the mistake that I did. I made a gamble. I took the gamble. It is what it is. I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. I'm gonna get my refund and that's it. Live and learn. It's very sad that people will stoop this low and make a fragrance look like this. This looks almost perfect. For a person that doesn't know, this would easily confuse them because you literally have to own it to know that it's a fake. Because if you don't own it, and this is your first Creed bottle, Creed Aventus bottle, you're not gonna have any idea on what to check to make sure it's, it's legit or whatnot. And yeah, this is just trash right here. Anyways guys, that was it for today. This was a quick video on how to spot a fake Creed Aventus. I'm gonna show you guys the fake one one last time. This is what it looks like. Pay close attention. Fake one right here. Authentic one. Beautiful. This is what a fragrance that's almost $500 should look like. Thank you.